Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new series called Conversations with Exeter Medics. In this series, eight of my medic friends from Exeter shared their experiences and their journeys into medical school. This series will involve eight episodes where we will be covering different aspects of medical school and studying at Exeter. Thanks for tuning in, hope you enjoy it and make sure to subscribe for the upcoming content. Episode five is about gap years. Mm -hmm. Did you take a gap year? No. Do you wish you took a gap year? Uh, kind of. Like, I think when I was applying, I was like, I want a break. This yeah. is so intense. Yeah. But then I also was like, it's a five year course and I just want to get on with it. Like, but then also you want a break because it's like, when are you next going to get a break? Yeah. Um, yeah. I yeah. kind of, it so. would have been nice, but then also I wouldn't have met the friends that I've met this just, year. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. I quite like my friends. Okay. So. But obviously, I'm your favourite. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So you mentioned earlier that you're taking a gap year. Mm -hmm. So how did you spend your gap year? Um, work, 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 work. Mm -hmm. And I did quite a few open university courses that were kind of like science related. Um, they weren't directly related to medicine, but it was kind of a way to keep like my mind active. Um, and I went on like four or five holidays, so travelling as well. Any advice for people who are on their gap years or thinking of gap years? Definitely take the gap year. Um, yeah, there's no doubt about that. Because, like, you'll be working for the rest of your life in medicine, so, you know, one year is not going to make a difference. Um, maybe if you can do something medicine-related on your gap year, like, be it a job, if you maybe like a healthcare worker, I know quite a few people do that on their gap year. Yeah. And it kind of gives you exposure to medicine, but in a less intense environment. Okay. Um, maybe save up because student life is hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did you take a gap year? No. <laughs> Taking a gap year and doing something worthwhile is always really positive. Take a gap year? I didn't take a gap year, no. I went straight from high school, so that's equivalent to college, <laughs> um, to Exeter to study medical sciences, and then from there I worked during the summer and then came here. Do you have any advice for people who are like graduate applicants? For graduate applicants, I think that it's really cool that you want to do that, <laughs> and they don't feel discouraged about your age or anything. There's so many different like age groups in the university itself, so definitely go for it. Um, also know that the knowledge that you have from your previous degree will really help you not just in terms of medicine or science or anything like that, but just in terms of structuring and kind of being organized and kind of knowing what to expect from university. So it helps you that way mentally, I think. So definitely go for it. Do you wish you took a gap year? Um, I think it'd be really cool to take a gap year. <laughs> But I also think that because I already did a degree, it wouldn't make sense for me to take a gap year. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. And so my gap year was actually very unexpected. So up until about three weeks before mm -hmm. I was due to go, um, the uni actually sent a email out to everyone who had firmed Exeter, basically saying that because of COVID, um, more people had firmed and got the grades for the course than they were expecting. Yeah. So basically the course was oversubscribed um, mm. and they were basically offering people to take gap years for incentives, so money and other forms of benefits, benefits, <laughs> yeah. shall we say. Um, as I said, I come from like a very working class background. Financially, it was sort of a no-brainer. It was a great option. Um, so that's why I had the gap year. Um, and as I said, it was quite last minute and it was still sort of during some of the COVID times. So I ended up working full time as a dementia support worker um, at a day centre, mm -hmm. which I really loved. I've actually found a lot of the skills that I gained and learned from that job. I apply daily in medicine. Mm -hmm. um, especially in the more clinical side. Um, and I think having the gap year really, really helped with my confidence, which as well is something that's really, really hard to get. Full time, five days a week. And then I also worked as a waitress mm -hmm. um, for another day a week on top of that. For the last two months, I took time off. I didn't work um, and I went on lots of holidays with friends and my partner um, and did a little bit of traveling around Europe. Do you have any advice for people who are willing to take a gap year? Do it. <laughs> Do it. Um, I think 
because otherwise I would have come straight from A levels and would have been a massive burnout. I think so. I think I was so wrapped up in my A levels and I worked really, really hard for them that I almost didn't realise how much more there was to life yeah. other than just sitting at a desk and studying all day. And I think although I do still work hard now, I have a very, very different approach to my studies to when I was doing my A-levels yeah. um, because of my gap year. I know that there's other things that are just as important in life as my grades. Some, it's hard saying that, it's easier saying that than it is actually thinking that sometimes. But, but I, I spend time doing other stuff than just working. Yeah. Um, and I think that's really important. And I think otherwise, obviously the degree's five years. Yeah. Once you start medicine, I think it really is like a one road from the start of med school to the end of med school. Obviously there are options to take deferrals and things. But as a general sort of rule, that's five years plus your two foundation years of just working really, really hard. Yeah. So I think I definitely needed the break. Um, so if you are thinking about taking one, definitely, do definitely do it. Did you take a gap year? No. <laughs> do you regret not taking a gap year? Oh, um, in some ways, yes, because I hear, like obviously lots of people here have taken gap years. I hear about their stories, what they've done. So traveling, uh -huh. um, working, and you know, it does sound amazing. I am still quite tired from um, <laughs> A-levels. A like I didn't feel like it was a long enough break really. So yeah. to some extent I really do. But then I also think it would have been harder to get back into studying had I have taken these years off. Yeah, I think I would have just enjoyed it almost too much and just continued relaxing mm -hmm. um so i would say i do regret it but then i'm also quite happy um just carrying on studying kind of in the sense that i had like two years between degrees what did you do in your gap years so i just worked like it was because it was covid times mm -hmm. um there wasn't really a lot you could do in terms of traveling yeah um and because I'm postgraduate, you have to fund certain parts of the degree yourself. So my priority was trying to earn as much money and save up so that I could afford university, basically. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I literally just work. I work like Monday to Friday. I do stuff at the weekend with friends and stuff, but mm -hmm. like there's nothing too exciting, yeah. unfortunately. It's not like I went traveling or- I mean, the pandemic was quite boring. Exactly, because we're in lockdown half the time. Did you do anything course related? I guess just working in the environments I worked in, the pharmacy, the GP surgery, like definitely working in those environments was useful because it definitely has helped me for things like OSCEs in terms of like the confidence building mm -hmm. and then working in the pharmacy I don't have like a lot of clinical knowledge mm -hmm. but like when I see certain medications I'm like oh I recognize that yeah. like, even if I don't know the mechanism I'm like I know that medication for blood pressure I know that medication for like cholesterol just because of what I've seen from working okay in that environment all right do you have any advice for people um, who are like having gap years in between their degrees um, or in general I would just say, I mean, this is more specific for medicine, because I'd say I work harder for medicine than I did my other degree. But I just make most of like having the time off because honestly, when you start medicine, like even in the summer holidays, I probably, I won't be working loads, but I probably will be like going over Doing notes and stuff. Because you've got to keep up to date with it because yeah. you're constantly like building on it. Yeah. So it's not just like, oh, I'll do this, I'll do this like module and then I'll move Leave on. It. Because you can't mm -hmm. like, so I just say make the most of having the free time, yeah. like go traveling if you can, or just like spend time with your friends and your family. Cause like, that's a difficulty is that I'm really close to my family, but obviously being at university, I can't see them as regularly as I'd want to. So just make the most of like spending time with your friend, family, stuff like that. Yeah, I did not. No. You did not. Do you wish you took a gap year? I, yeah, I do wish I took a gap year, mainly because I find gap years are able to provide you with a load of time and I guess, you know, just the opportunity for you to recover. Do, yeah, recover <laughs> from the <laughs> day, <laughs> recover from the exam. But also just allow you to immerse yourself in volunteering roles and stuff like that. What the one thing I do regret is the like the kind of interval between starting sixth form and then starting university. Mm -hmm. I wish I'd done more in terms of volunteering mm -hmm. and and really just exposing myself to medicine. I did have, you know, the experience as I mentioned. However, I wish, you know, maybe I'd just taken a year out to maybe just, you know, become an, uh, I don't know, uh, HCA at a hospital uh -huh. or to just help out with some nurses or, you know, it was uh, the time of COVID and there was a lot of demand for um, 
you know, just additional hands just yeah. to help volunteer in the community. And I wish I had done stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But um, hopefully I'm making up for it now in university. 